To fly means to ride the wind. Lots of things can fly. Birds can fly, butterflies can fly, kites can fly, balloons can fly. If you could fly, would you want to fly like a bird? They fly by flapping their wings. They eat food and drink water to make energy, just like you do. You can use your energy to move your feet and run really fast, but birds can use their energy to flap their wings and fly. There are many different kinds of birds, and each kind has its own way to fly. Some birds fly high in the sky, way up, up, up off the ground. Some birds can fly across the ocean. Some birds fly from flower to flower. Hummingbirds get energy from flower juice, which is called nectar. They flap their wings very fast, so they use energy very fast. It seems like hummingbirds are always flying from flower to flower to get more energy from the nectar they drink. Birds are born inside eggs. The mother lays her eggs in a nest. The baby bird grows inside the egg and then cracks the eggshell and comes out. When the baby bird comes out of the egg, it's called hatching. After the baby bird comes out of the egg, it lives safely in the nest the mother bird has made. The mother brings food to the baby for it to eat. Birds like to eat things like worms and seeds. When the baby bird has grown up, it flies out of the nest and finds its own food. It's fun to watch birds fly. If you could fly, would you want to fly like a butterfly? Some insects can fly. One insect is so famous for flying that it's called a fly. Flies can be very annoying when they get inside the house and buzz around, but most of the time, flies just fly. Like flies, butterflies are insects. Butterflies get their food from flowers. Different kinds of butterflies like different kinds of flowers, so a place that has many kinds of flowers attracts many kinds of butterflies. Most people like to watch butterflies because butterflies are very beautiful. They're very colorful, and their colors take many different shapes. The shapes and colors on a butterfly are called markings. You can tell what kind of butterfly it is by its markings. Butterflies are born inside cocoons. The mother butterfly lays her egg on a leaf or a twig. The baby butterfly grows up inside a cocoon. When the baby butterfly comes out of the cocoon, it searches for the kind of flower that it likes best. So butterflies can fly, and birds can fly, and flies can fly. But they're not the only things that can fly. How many things that can fly can you think of? Let's take a look at some other things that can fly. If you could fly, would you want to fly like a kite? Kites don't have wings to flap, but they can fly. 
Kites can only fly where it's windy, and they fly wherever the wind pushes them. You need to tie them to a string so they won't just fly away. Some kites are made of paper, but they're not the only paper things that can fly. Paper airplanes can fly, too. It's fun to fold a piece of paper into the shape of an airplane and throw it and watch it fly. If you change the shape of the paper airplane and throw it, it will spin or flip or fly in circles. If you could fly, would you want to fly like a balloon? Two special kinds of balloons can fly. One is the kind you get at birthday parties, which are filled with helium. The other is a very big balloon called a hot air balloon. It's called a hot air balloon because it can only fly when it's full of hot air. If there is a basket tied to a hot air balloon, people can ride in it. Do you think it would be fun to climb into a basket and ride wherever the wind blows your big balloon? Butterflies and balloons are things that can fly that start with the letter B, and so are baseballs. When a batter hits a baseball into the sky, it's called a fly ball. It's fun to hit or throw a baseball way up in the air and catch it when it comes down. Some things fly by spinning around and around and around really fast. They're usually made of plastic so they won't break when they hit the ground. If you practice throwing them, you can make them fly where you want them to fly. You can throw them straight toward your friend or throw them so they fly out and then curve back to your friend. Since kites can only fly where the wind pushes them, they need a big place in which to fly, a place away from houses and power lines and trees. If it's windy at the park or playground, you can fly kites there. But one place where it's almost always windy, that's far from houses and power lines and trees, is the beach. It's fun to take kites to the beach and watch them ride the wind out over the water and back over the land.
Many kites fly best when they have tails. Some kites can be steered as they ride the wind, so you can make them fly back and forth, or around and around in loops. Kites come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. You can even make your own kite. Balloons are very colorful and very beautiful to watch. Remember, if you would rather fly than watch things fly, you can ride a hot air balloon. Balloons are very colorful and very beautiful to watch, and riding a balloon is lots of fun. Lots of people like to ride balloons. Sometimes they all get together and take off from the same place so they can ride their balloons alongside each other. When you fly in a balloon with other balloons nearby, you can fly a balloon and watch a balloon fly at the same time. Since balloons float on the air, people can ride them to the same place if they take off from the same place. People can only ride very, very big balloons. You cannot ride the kind of balloons you get at birthday parties. Some balloons are there just to look pretty and get your attention. There are some balloons you can fly and some you cannot fly. And you certainly wouldn't want to try to fly an airplane like this one. One of the most exciting ways that people can fly is with a parachute. To fly with a parachute, people with special training get inside an airplane and fly into the sky. It's very hard to fly with a parachute, so people can do it only after they've learned all about it and practiced it on the ground. People who are trained to fly with a parachute are called skydivers. When they're ready, they jump out of an airplane with their parachute inside a bag, which is strapped to their bodies. They fall for a little while with their parachutes inside the bags. This is called free fall. When they get close to the ground, they pull a string which opens the bag so their parachute can come out. The parachute slows them down so they won't get hurt as they ride to the ground. When skydivers jump out of their airplane, everything on the ground looks very, very small. The trees, the cars, houses and buildings all look tiny from way up here. As they fly thousands of feet above the ground, the skydiver looks for familiar landmarks so he'll know where to land. In just a few minutes, skydivers have floated thousands of feet down to the ground. Learning to skydive, or jump out of an airplane with a parachute, takes many hours of study and practice. You have to learn about wind and how it affects your parachute. You have to practice keeping your body in the right position so things will happen the way they're supposed to happen. When people are ready to jump out of an airplane with a parachute for the first time, a teacher or instructor goes with them in the airplane.
Have you ever seen clouds floating by in the sky and wondered what it's like inside a cloud? Skydiving is one of the few ways you can actually fly straight through a cloud. Skydiving is very exciting. Have you ever ridden a roller coaster and been excited and nervous at the same time? If you're brave enough to ride a roller coaster, you're probably brave enough to skydive, and you'll probably be a little nervous and very excited. For skydivers, nothing compares to flying through the air at more than 100 miles per hour. After free-falling at more than 100 miles per hour, you open your parachute. and from then until you reach the ground is a slower and smoother flight. You start to really see what birds see as they fly above the ground, watching what goes on below. And just as a bird may land in your backyard, we see how skydivers glide gracefully to the ground. If you only want to try skydiving to see if you'll like it, then special training will teach you to fly with an instructor. This is called tandem skydiving and can obviously be just as much fun as skydiving with your own parachute.
Some skydivers are so good that they perform tricks with other skydivers as part of skydiving demonstration teams. Skydivers use their arms and legs while flying through the air. So how did we get these pictures if nobody could hold a camera? One of the skydivers has a very special helmet which can hold a camera, similar to the one you might have at home. This allows you and me to see what skydivers see. There are many types of machines that can fly. For example, airplanes are machines that can fly. Some airplanes are very big and some are small. The smallest airplanes that can carry people are called ultralights. They're called ultralights because they don't weigh very much. They don't have very many parts, which makes them ultralight. Since they don't have very many parts, flying in them is probably as close as a person can get to flying like a bird. People flying in ultralights can feel the wind and look straight down at the ground. They can see houses and trees and dogs and cats and people on the ground. They can fly very close to the ground and get a good look at things. People who fly in ultralights have lots of fun. It's fun to fly in the blue sky and feel the air and see things on the ground. Sometimes people fly in airplanes just for the fun of it, and sometimes people in airplanes are doing different kinds of work. Some people fly in airplanes that tow big banners so lots of people can see them. The banners have special messages on them. Some people work in airplanes to put out forest fires. They fly their airplanes to the fire and dump water and chemicals on the fire. When they do this, they're helping people on the ground who are also trying to put out the fire. When a forest fire grows very big and very dangerous, the people trying to put it out ask for help from the people who know how to fly airplanes that can carry things that can put fires out. When people want to go somewhere very quickly, they can go to the airport and get into airplanes that can carry lots of people. It's fun to fly in these airplanes, which are usually jets. Jets can fly faster than another type of airplane, which has a propeller. So people who are in a hurry to go visit their grandmother, or go on vacation, or move to another city, or go somewhere on business, usually fly in jets. People who fly just for the fun of flying usually fly in airplanes with propellers, because they don't cost as much as jets. Learning to fly an airplane takes longer than learning to fly in a parachute. Remember the people who wanted to fly in a parachute? needed training first, and remember that they had to get into an airplane so they could get high enough to fly down in their parachutes? Well, that airplane was operated by a pilot, which is a person who's trained to fly an airplane. The pilot is very similar to a person driving a car. The pilot steers the plane left and right and up and down. The pilot operates controls that make the plane take off and fly and land. Airplanes need a special place to take off and land. These places are called airports. They have runways which look like giant highways where airplanes can go faster and faster and faster, then take off, or they can land and then slow down. Airports are located near cities, so people can go there when they want to go to somewhere very fast. Since people want to go many different places, there are usually lots of airplanes at airports to take them wherever they want to go, even if they want to go all the way around the world. 
People who use airplanes in their work do many different jobs. Of course, one job is to help people go somewhere fast. Another is to help put out fires. Another is to help protect people, like Navy and Air Force pilots do. Can you think of other jobs that airplanes do? Another type of flying machine is called a helicopter. Helicopters have a giant propeller on top that pushes down on the air to lift the helicopter off the ground. Unlike airplanes, helicopters do not need runways to take off and land. Helicopters can take off straight up and can land by coming straight down. They're used to fly somewhere that does not have an airport. And since helicopters can stand still in the air, they are used for some very special jobs. Most helicopters are used by people at work. People who need to help someone who is sick or hurt usually fly in helicopters. When television stations want to show pictures of something from the air, the people who work for the television station fly in helicopters. If you had a helicopter, what job would you use it for? Machines that can fly can be used for many things. They can be used to help people, and they can be used just for the fun of it. Whether at work or play, People can have fun in flight.